I kind of cheated. I brought the oh, puppy. No, you didn't really cheat all. all I want to talk about. It's, no. it's become my whole life. You're not cheating at all. Now what? Say hi. You're doing so good. Uh, they're doing so good. Now, what what is what is this little puppy's name? Uh, his name is Columbo. Oh, hi, Columbo. He's a total mutt, but you can see from his paws, he's going to be a very big boy. Oh, he is. So I think hi, one day I might have to bring him back, and you know, when he's a full-grown man. Say hi. Oh, that's got, a big deal. I got, some, I got a kiss from Columbo. Oh, oh my God. God. What a good dog. What a goo. Wow, a good... I'm so glad he didn't do something else. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he's such a good little flirt. Yeah, do, he's really good. Do people really freak good. out do you, when you carry him around? People, I, it's changed my life. My whole perception of New York is different because people are coming up to me and they're like, hi, can I get a picture? And I'm like, uh, yeah, sure. And then they're like, of your dog. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> we're, we're like, getting of over course. You. No. Yeah, so um, I've been loving it. I well, feel have like, you been wanting a dog for a while? Um, yeah, and I guess like it felt like a big step. You know, I wanted to take care of a, of this little boy, and it's been absolutely a joy. I sing to him. You do all the time. Um, my favorite track is Beyonce's uh, "Baby Boy." You stay on my mind. Um, when he gets on the floor, when he's on his back, it's Maniac. Well, basically a whole playlist. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. old is he now? He's nine weeks. Nine weeks yeah. old. Oh, he's a baby He's puppy. doing so good. He's not even nervous. And he's going to grow up to be how, how big, you think? Um, 60 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. Columbo, you got to come back on the show when you're... Yeah. yeah. What do you, you think? You know your name, don't you? I mean, I'm, we're trying. Body no. training, the whole thing. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Can I know. You it's cute really... It's just kind of... Oh, my God. <laughs> He's that cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love uh, it. Emily, last time I saw you was at the Met Gala. I just want to yes. quickly say you were stunning that night, oh, and uh, as you always are. But thank you. Man, oh, man. I mean, that's like, it's a big deal when you go to that, that show and everyone's decked to the nines, but yeah. you were just... Well, I, mean, I have to tell you, I really, actually, I really appreciated you coming up to me and letting me know that you love my look because... You know, you get ready for these things. You have like two minutes to look in the mirror, and then you came up to me and were so genuinely excited, and were like, "You really nailed it!" And oh. I like took that with me and I, like walked through the next rest of the night like that. So, oh, really? Thanks. Oh, please, pal. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Every time you couldn't see all the people behind you after you passed, and everyone's like, <gasps> "Oh my God, she's stunning!" It's oh. nerve-wracking. You it like is. walk into this amazing museum, and there's this big wall of flowers, and then there's like every celebrity you've ever dreamed of meeting or not meeting. Um, <laughs> yeah, they see everybody. Um, no, but and every. Everyone looks amazing, and you're just kind of like, I really hope I belong here, honestly. So you talk um, beyond belong there, but I mean, uh, and everything's going great. Your yeah. your swimwear swimwear line yes. is now also doing lingerie. Yes, and ready to wear. But, yeah. uh, the name of your line is uh, remind me. Inamorata. Inamorata. Yeah, and actually, the last time we were here, we talked about share. You did. Because Cher is such a huge influence for the line, but obviously she was the whole inspiration for my Met look. So. But she showed up at the Met okay? Gala. Yes. Did you know that? Um, okay, so there were people talking about it, and I was like, if she shows up, I'm really in luck. This will be a good good night for me in camp and the whole theme. And um, she was amazing. She's seven she years old. She was unbelievably I amazing. Was, yeah, I really enjoyed her performance. It was, oh, it was she great. She was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, um, let's talk about your uh, your acting side of yeah. your uh, all of your work that you're doing. Uh, lying and Dog stealing. Owner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now yeah, the list yeah. goes on. Um, yeah, lying and stealing with Theo James. Um, it's a story of sort of um, a heisty type guy, and I play a little bit of a female con man. Yeah. Um, who uh, lies about her name, and we kind of pair up to take on the bad guys. It's fun. It's super fun. Yeah. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Emily Ratajkowski in the new movie, Lying and Stealing. Take a look at this. Will you um, be my fake boyfriend or not? Sure. Let's see if we can spot him, right? OK. Is uh, that him, 6 o'clock? How'd you do that? Mm, I don't know. It just seems like him. Yeah, but there are a lot of candidates here. Only three Italian ones. That guy, he's not a creep, he's almost dead. <laughs> that guy through there, and that seems pretty obvious. What about that guy? That guy's Jewish. How do you know that? Okay, that's very impressive. Bingo. Mm. Here comes your boy. Okay, he thinks I'm half Italian. Speak Italian. Mm, sure, not really. Ah, Giovanni. <laughs> bella. Tutto bene. Yeah, bella, bella. Ciao. Emily Ratajkowski, everybody, lying and stealing is on DirecTV June 13th and in theaters July 12th. Bye, Colombo. It's a pleasure meeting you. Uh huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.